Well, new at 11, the Centers for Disease Control says it now has direct evidence linking the mosquito-borne Zika virus to a serious birth defect. The mosquito that spreads the virus is present in about 30 states right now. And while experts don't expect widespread local transmission in the U.S., they say you need to be prepared. WSBT 22's Heather Black spoke with a local doctor tonight. And Heather, what advice is he offering to prevent the virus from spreading? Well, Rick, right now there are still very few preventative methods for the disease. Now, there are no vaccines or ways to avoid it. However, the group most affected by the virus is are women who are pregnant or plan to become pregnant. Now, the virus causes mild effects if the person becomes infected. Symptoms can be a rash, a headache, or joint pain. Doctors say that most people won't realize they have the virus until their baby is born. They'll see their child born with defects such as abnormally small heads. Now, Dr. Del Patterson at South Bend Memorial says they don't expect to see the virus unless you've traveled to other areas, especially south of the United States and the Western Hemisphere. Uh, the uh, transmission from mosquito to person uh, is with a type of mosquito that we don't usually have uh, in the South Bend area, so we don't expect to have local transmission of the disease here in South Bend, but we will have patients that travel all over the United States, and there are uh, this type of mosquito at other areas, mostly south of here uh, in the United States. And Dr. Patterson says the virus is still new to most health experts, which makes it even scarier when trying to understand how to prevent it and treat the virus. And in Congress, top House Republicans say they will likely grant a portion of President Obama's request for $1.9 billion in Zika funding, but that will probably won't happen until September. And federal health issue officials say vaccine trials would likely start in the fall with larger tests next year. Rick.